little kids have dreams of being things. And mine was of becoming a Division One athlete. Like a lot of athletes, I have pre-race anxiety. What if I'm not good enough? What if I'm not fast enough? What if I forget how to swim? Especially in a sport where you get one chance to prove it all. You don't get a redo. <gasps> My name's Kenzie, and I am from Shalimar, Florida. I've been in love with swimming since I can honestly remember. I was not a very good swimmer, so I put her in swim lessons, and she has been on a swim team from kindergarten until now. She's just very determined, and I couldn't ask for a better daughter. I drive about an hour to get to swim practice, and my first car was a 2014 Subaru Crosstrek. I knew they were supposed to be safe, but you never really know until you're actually in an accident. The day of the accident, I had woken up and honestly, something told me not to go to swim practice. It was like, you should just sleep in. It had rained a lot before I had gotten up is what I didn't realize. <laughs> and they had just recently paved that road. So that road had oil pulled up at the top, which made the road very slick. I ran off the road and then my car started to flip. And my car flipped three times. And then all of a sudden I just hit a tree my cell phone rings and it's her. And I was like, mom, don't freak out, but I just crashed my car and I'm pretty sure it's totaled. I was like, where are you? Are you okay? Are you bleeding? I ran to get there and the two police officers, they both told me that when they saw that car, they had not expected to see any survivors. I was fine besides a couple of little scratches, but I had like trees, things sticking through my hair and I was covered in dirt and rain. I went ahead and took her to the hospital to be evaluated. It kind of sounds weird, but honestly, a couple hours later, I was like, I still need to swim. The first thing she asked is, can she go to swim practice? <laughs> so I went into the pool and I swam <laughs> right afterwards. Stop scrolling, I need your help with something. So this was my car two days ago. After my crash, I decided to reach out to Subaru. My Subaru saved my life. And that's the reason I wanted to make this video, is to say thank you to Subaru. I owe my ability to still swim to Subaru's amazing safety standards. I am not a statistic. I am a survivor. Dear Subaru, thanks for saving my life, lifestyle, and all the things that I love. Thank you so much for saving her life. We will always be a Subaru family. Hey guys, so I've got some really exciting news. Say hi to my brand new Subaru Outback Wilderness. Right after my accident, we of course knew I needed a new car. And after what I had just gone through, we all knew we were gonna get a Subaru. As soon as I laid eyes on the 2024 Outback Wilderness, I knew that was supposed to be my car. And I've been happy ever since. 